Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. In the last video, I showed you an exploit when it comes to the rare anomalies in the underground. Also now dealing with a cold wave, but I'm going to try to address the cold wave right out of the gate. I'm going to go ahead, extend this out here, and ask myself, do I have subsurface heating researched? No, I don't. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this at the top. It's going to take me about a day or so to get done. Once it's done, I'm going to slap down a subsurface heater right in this area. It's going to get some heat over to this guy and make it a little bit easier for me to uh, power these things because these are taking up a ton of electricity and I kind of want to be doing something about that. Um, I'm not... I got to figure out a way to get piping over here because I don't think I'm going to go and follow this wacky uh, piping. I may just come straight from over here for this. Let's actually see. Can I get... And I have to go over... Oh, wait. Nah, that's not going to work. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to get that piping set up. We're going to research subsurface heating, and we're going to head into the underground. This cold wave is going to last probably the majority of this video, unfortunately. There's not much I'm uh, able to do about it. I do want to get my RC Commander back and scan all of this out, because that's going to be really helpful for me. My RC Commander is currently found. underground right now, somewhere. Oh, it's also speed of the game. It's playing that on uh, the low speed. And this is one of the anomalies that I found toward the end of the last video. I'm going to go ahead and pack this guy up. Make sure there's nothing else around here that needs to be uh, sought out. This is where we found uh, mole people. Then I did a reroll and got virus, which is a really, really good one. Um, just by getting virus, we can now get extractor AI. I'll research that this week. And we're going to take out those automated extractors. I know some people are thinking like, yeah, that's kind of cheating uh, using a mod to get it. But same time, I get to have fun with the game. I've had, I got 300 hours in this game, so I got to do stuff that kind of just shakes it up a little bit for me. Oh, what do we got Anomaly here? Found. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, we're absolutely, this is, um, this is, uh, Larger for a rover to pass through, but our sensors are unable to determine where it leads. We can send the rover in, but there's no guarantee where it'll end up and if it'll be able to return. The lost rover, uh, the rover has emerged on the other side of the crevice and relatively undamaged. However, the passage has collapsed, preventing it from returning. So now, my rover is actually in a spot I can get it back right away. I already cleared that area out. Sometimes that event works, sometimes it doesn't. That one, unfortunately, is just an event where, yeah, the uh, rover's, no, rover's available right away. All right, I'm trying to see if there's anything else back here behind this. I don't think so. Nope, that's the end of that tunnel. We'll pack these drones up, head on to the next location, and we're just going to keep scanning around the underground. One automated factory, one tower. It just doesn't have enough electricity. Oh, this one's oh damn, this one's actually frozen because it was offline for so long. That's actually a problem for me. Resources are low. Also, because this factory is not operational, I am, I do have a surplus of power at the moment, which is it's a good thing. Uh, Spacey's no longer offering that. You are doing the. High speed comm satellite that'll be done up this video. And once the subsurface heater's done, I'll go ahead and slap it down there. That factory will need immediate maintenance once I thaw it out. So we got this going. We're just doing a lot of low end research right now. It's so mainly to move these available techs further down. And note, I have not found global support yet on this playthrough. I'm absolutely going to find global support on this playthrough and get those fancy structures and rovers and whatnots. Anomaly found. Okay, well, search for the Martian underground, we just uncovered a device of unknown origin. I've seen this one several times before. Um, so we can get 4,000 flat research, a temporary anomaly, which is flat research, and I believe 30 machine parts. So I'm actually going to go for that. Anomaly found. Oh my god, and it's available right next to us. Ain't that special. 
it's immediately available, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that. Are low. Again, we've got a surplus. Anomaly found. Yes, it has. Oh, bugger. So you got this anomaly here. This is a potential rare metals deposit. I'm going to guess this will not be a rare metals deposit just because of its proximity to these two. If it is, hell yes. I'll absolutely go build out that way and get... Research uh, complete. All right, let's go back upstairs. Build that thing real fast. And we've got the materials for it, so it's just a matter of making it. Fuel compression is next, and when we uh, research that, we unlock the sterling generator. Don't need that one. Uh, I need to get those biotech ones researched, because all of these things that I've researched, all these keys that I've found, none of them are unlocking biotech stuff. And this is the jumbo cave I'm coming into right now. Yep. Anomaly found. Here it is. 30 machine parts, 3,000 flat research. Research complete. And it got me all the way through decommission protocol. Ah, compact passenger module. Absolutely need that. Storage compression. Need that. Mega storage. Don't need it right away, but it's going to be a really good tech to have. I could have easily gone for Extractor AI with that 3,000 research or even Project Phoenix, uh, Martian Diet. I could have gone for these breakthroughs very easily, but these lower end, air quotes, techs, uh, need to be researched also. Alright. Which one's this one? Potential rare metals deposit. I'm going to go ahead and scan this guy while my explorer is off doing his thing. We know the jumbo cave is there. That Once you reveal that, it's revealed. Hey, can we go ahead and beeline this guy? I don't know what just popped up. I just clicked past it too quick. Um, hmm. I don't even need to trade for anything right now, and I'm pretty good for the moment. Anomaly found. Oh, we found a door. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and clear the door. Another reason that I go with these mod packs is, especially with the UCP, is because it just adds so much to the game that you really want. Things in the game like, oh, this would be fun to have in the game, and suddenly, boom, you got that thing in the game. That's nice. Oh, it's actually a community member, in this case, actually someone who's now being contracted by Paradox to build content um, to produce extra things that well, they didn't put in the main game. They'd be like, oh, this would be kind of cool to get in the next in the next phase of the game. All right, so. RC Explorer is going to go scan the possible rare metals deposit, which is not going to have one. I'll be surprised if it does. Then it's going to come up here for the next step of the next step mission. Go ahead and unpack you guys. Research go ahead and scan complete. stuff out. Mag filtering done. That increases moxie production. Hmm. Oh, it also did a bio... Uh, Hygroscopic vaporator is mostly done anyway. That done... I'm just going to keep doing those low-end techs to get them, just to get the biotech feel caught up with everything else. Let's go back upstairs real quick, see what we got going. Spacey is offering 50 polymers for 170 concrete, not my best. This guy has malfunction, but now he's heated up, so he's only drawing 60 power instead of 180. That's why I want to get this one hooked up relatively soon, too. I'll be damned. Look at that. All right. Let's see if we can get up there. Get these guys out. Let's clear this rubble. Clear that too. Let's see, I keep getting these notifications upstairs. Oh, it's just a heavy drone load up here. 
in this drone hub's defense, it's covering a lot of real estate. Also, oh, I got. Cave in uh, blocked access. Oh, that's a problem. All right, we'll go ahead and clear this up. There we go. Pack this guy up, have him keep searching for stuff. And this is kind of be this episode. It's just cruising around the underground, seeing what we can find down here. I don't know, those metal extractors offline. This guy's got not enough power. Huh. I just, feel, I just have a feeling that a lot of these buildings are just going to shut down due to... See, it's only drawn, discharging at 8. Aw. We got three days left in that uh, cold wave, so I'm just going to keep rolling with what I got at the moment. Alright, unpack. Let's clear these out. And keep searching. Anomaly found. Research complete. All right, now we have uh, forest greenhouses and farms available to us. That unlocks the water reclamation tech. And I think also this week, I need to start working on domes. All right, pack up, guys. Let's see what we got down here. Let's found a standard anomaly. I know there's got to be a few more rares in here, because I know there's a few more doors I haven't opened yet with this guy. If I had the drones to spare, which I don't, unfortunately, right now, because you saw what I'm running with, running into upstairs, I probably would start progressing through the Ancient Artifact Interface mystery. I also don't have the 200 machine parts for it, or... I think I can't remember exactly how much it is off the top of my head. I've only completed it a couple of times. Found. There's another one, and here's a door. That's a. Oh, auto save. Hooray. A lot of stuff going on Sector upstairs. Scanned. Eight anomalies upstairs. That's all. Let's see. Resources are low. Okay, low power. Oh, we got one up here. Interesting. So on the high ground where we started off, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight anomalies. Probably a ninth if we go there. Yeah. Meteor incoming. Oh. Um. I'm sorry. Where the hell did I get a notification of a meteor storm? When, when did that happen? No active research. I'm a little confused by this. Let's go ahead and rebuild you, and you I'm actually going to dismantle. Fascinating that we had two come down just right on top of each other. Huh. That was weird. You have two days left in this uh, cold wave. Can he not access? No, we can't. Okay. All right, let's go down here. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Found. Oh, we found a rare up here, too. Okay, um, let's send you up here. We're going to scan these three. Wow, this guy comes down and clears everything else. Right, we'll let the game run for a little bit on its own. Not a lot happened while the two drones were in transit. Went upstairs, made sure everything was kind of turning back on slowly. Um, a little confused by that just random meteor hit. That one uh, kind of threw me off. Oh, there's a door here. That's why I couldn't get to it. 
Anomaly found. Anomaly wow, found. another set of rare metals deposits. Interesting. You're going here now. Here. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Right, pack these guys up. We're going to scout about a little bit more. And see. Ooh, we got two here. This game is just trying to keep my RC or Explorer very, very busy right now. All right, checking back upstairs. We got 19 hours left. Thank God we're almost out of this storm, uh, cold wave. Because this one's been kind of a pain in the butt. We've had, I don't know, meteor strikes during it, massive power outages. Right pain in the ass this can be. We are actually uh, getting this flattened out so I can actually, you know, build in this area. Probably just... Maybe put like a train station right here and just run it right down the line. Haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet with it. Found. found 20 exotics. Not my favorite. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to scan this rare anomaly, but I'm also going to throw a save state down, which again, I highly recommend you do if you're looking to play this game and scan around the underground. We got the mission purpose. I think we got this one already. Uh, yeah, that's the one we got earlier, so I'm going to re-roll this. Soylent Green Breakthrough, if you do uh, Means to an End. That is an F-class tier. That is an F-tier breakthrough for me. Alright, let's reload it. I've re-rolled this one several times now, and I keep getting purpose. I wonder if this has actually been patched out, the exploit that I was talking about in the last video. I'm going to try it one more time. And what I'm going to do as soon as that loads my uh, save, I'm going to move this rover away, scan some other stuff, and then come back to it and scan this one later and see if that'll actually give me something different than... Um, I'll show you what the options are now. So we have nocturnal workload, just, or nocturnal adaptation, sustained workload, mole people, and soil and grain. Not great uh, breakthroughs. I don't think they're that great breakthroughs. I'll get caught seeing twice plenty performance during night shifts. So, I'm going to reload it one more time and see if we can get something else. But I'm going to also come down and scan these anomalies that I located. And while my explorer is doing that, of course, I'm going to keep clearing things out. Keep trying to find more doors to find more rare anomalies. And just make it really accessible for my rover to go anywhere it needs to. No idea why it's going that far around. I'm going to guess there's a cave-in somewhere. Yeah, there's going to be a cave-in over here that's preventing... Uh, quick uh, quick access between those two sites. Yeah, but I see another collapsed tunnel here. So I know there's another door that needs to be taken care of. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six plus anomalies that need to be checked out. Rare metals deposit, rare metals deposit, next step. A lot of these are story ones. Yes, high speed comm satellites now available. I can research shift faster. And I'm just working on the physics tree because with. You know what? I want to queue up the train stuff, too. Um, the physics tree will get me my MDS, which is going to protect my colony from future random meteor strikes. So I'm going to make sure that I protect myself with this uh, with this new set. I think there's another rare anomaly down this way, if I recall correctly. But we'll get this guy scanned up. This is a destination anomaly. Anomaly. Okay, good. We're in the right spot. Didn't actually check to see if that was a a key one. Or, oh, I thought you were going to be a rare. I guess not. I think some of these will be supplies. Okay, sweet. We found some supplies there. Uh, 17, let's say 17 rare metals, 20, 21 polymers, and 32 metal. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Whoa. Sector scanned. Okay, I guess a meteor came in. Yep, we've definitely had uh, another meteor strike coming down. Damn it all. Yep, getting... Down here is going to be really important. Complete. So I'm actually going to come this way with this guy. I'm going to set him right next to the cold terrain. These random meteors are doing a lot of damage while I'm not paying attention. So, probably wouldn't... Take a look at that. Make sure that stops happening. You know, we saw like split power grid, which means this section was destroyed by a meteor. 
I'm gonna turn you back on. Turn you guys back on since we're out of the cold wave. And turn you off since we don't need your operational right now. You're good. Sector turn scanned. you on. You're on. Good, 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 good. Oh, stupid. Hang on. This guy is dusting these two, and he's causing a lot of problems. I may move... I'm probably going to move this guy. This guy is going to be dusting him a little bit. Um, storage space is full on those guys as well. That's probably a good thing, isn't it? Hmm. Well, we know the two concrete extractors being offline isn't too bad. The probe's drill had hit 100 meters before oh, it detected a spike. Oh, thank you, robotics tech uh, reduction. That's good. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, get up here. Another Mars quake. Yeah, there's so much. I'm surprised that rover wasn't destroyed. Just knowing my luck. All right, let's clear these two out. Get that one scanned. This is the... Okay. But getting robotics techs... Sorry, robotics here. Getting a reduction in these guys, always good. So we'll keep scanning that stuff out. Um, yeah, that Mars crew was very close by to us. And you're, yeah, you're available to move. And it came out right on top of my resources, which is interesting. All right, I'm going to bring this guy back. So this is my ancient artifact. If I go back towards the elevator here, the other elevator site, I'll probably find something else I can get my hands on, anomaly-wise. If this is a stalactite, all the better. 5,000 flat research, I'll take it in an instant. But noted, if I do have that 5,000 flat research coming, I will immediately queue up Extractor AI. I will make sure I get that done this time. Okay, unpack you. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, onwards. Yeah, he ends up right back at the. He ends up in a spot we've already been able to access. So that one's a bit of a mixed bag. That um, crevice, send the rover through thing. It essentially just says, "Hey, we're gonna teleport your rover somewhere else on the map." It's the. I've seen worse. Anomalies. I've seen better anomalies. I've seen a lot better anomalies, including this rare anomaly. It's right here. I know there's another collapsed tunnel like in this area. Right there, actually. I believe this will better connect that over there, but I hope I don't get purpose again, because it doesn't do much. Like, purpose is not one of my favorites. I'd rather get Mars Lantis or Virus or um, Fossils. Fossils is actually the one you really want to get if you want global support. Okay, pack you guys up. Let's go. Whoop. Here we go. Anomaly found. There we go. There's another rare. Okay. And what are you? It's just just a bog standard anomaly. Are you kidding me? Man, these these uh, Mars crates are kicking my ass today. All right, let's go clean this up again. Hmm. I could. I'll shut you down for a bit. Sector scanned. So there is an anomaly that brings resources. I'm going to go ahead and send an RC Explorer, the one that was waiting down by the cold terrain. I'm actually going to utilize him. We did find more rare metals. This plateau up here is really bad. Like I'm, I'm looking for stuff to be scanned up here. Also, I do not have deep scanning going, so i got to rescan all of this stuff. Um, just wanted to see if I can get something a little bit better. Also, I'm going to clear out these cave-ins. 
I'm just going to come back once I've actually got some scanning going because this is what I'm running into right now is that it's a lot of, I don't want to say hurry up and wait with this, but it's a lot of just waiting for things to get cleared, waiting for you know, the availability for my rovers and whatnot. Let's go ahead. Anomaly and I'm kind of done this way. Okay, we got the 41, so eh, it could be better. But I mean, polymers I'll take. Polymers, you have to essentially have a fuel refinery for those, and I don't have a lot of fuel production in my colony, so it does make sense to have those available to me. I mean, we'll do. I'm going to scan this one anomaly. I'm going to come scan this rare, see if we get something different than purpose. Again, fossils is the, Research is the goal. Anomaly found. Okay. Actually, we got two rare anomalies, so let's actually scan them both. And then we're going to get out of this video. I know we had a couple of gaps just letting things happen, so I think uh, by the end of this I'll be close to, if not right at the 30-minute mark, so fingers crossed. I don't, uh, I don't actually time how long I'm not talking or have these little gaps in the videos, so if I math at all right, which I'm probably not, then uh, we'll figure out what's going on. I'm starting to think I've found most of the rare anomalies. But I actually gotta stay. I gotta stay nearby in the underground in case one of these guys gets collapse. Uh, in case there's a collapse on top of my rover. Obvious reasons. You gotta clear them out quick. I'm going to go ahead and say that Paradox has patched this exploit because I've gotten failed recon three times in a row. We got this. I'll actually go for mostly any exotics this time, but electronics obviously is huge, especially if we get another high speed comm satellite mission. It would also free up an extraordinary number of rare metals. That could be exported back to Earth. It's a little frustrating to me that, like, hey, I found this cool exploit. I talked about it on a video on Friday. And now suddenly the exploit is no longer good. Or sorry, I explained it on a video on Thursday. And suddenly, this exploit is no longer valid. A little frustrating. In fact, that SETI satellite mission, this is the, I guess, diminishing returns. But I probably could do it. Get an extra, yeah, in fact, I'm going to do it. Sod it. I'm actually going to do the high-speed satellite because I do want to get those things done. Alright, so we'll, I'm going to try one more time to see if we can re-roll on this class rare anomaly. Ah, I got Mars Lantis this time. Ooh, okay. I'm glad I put a save in here because I don't know what this last one does. So, redirect all I'd use power into research. Oh my god, why am I yawning now? I actually know exactly why it is. I'm, this is about 7am when I'm recording this. I've been up since 4. Um... Yeah, I've not been sleeping well lately, and it's also why you're probably saying, like, Steve, that's probably wrong what you're saying there. These videos are being recorded super early in the morning, but also I'm drinking a milk tea. This is all my caffeine right now. And again, I'm, I'm getting like five hours of sleep max a night. My daughter is still asleep. That's the fine part. I'm just not able to stay asleep. So redirect all of power into research. This is the... Super supercharged computing or superconducting computing... Um, breakthrough, so any extra power becomes extra research for us. Research labs and institutes, this is a breakthrough that improves, like amplification, like a super amplifier on research labs. Uh, more research sites is the design uh, forestation. Mars Lantis is real, I don't know what this one does. So, I'm going to guess this one, and if it's not something I like, I go back to my save state, I grab this one. 
Let's see what we got. Oh, shit. Alien imprints breakthrough. Oh. Okay. Alien imprints. Um, this one, if you scan all of them, I think it's between 6 and 10 um, anomalies, they'll actually reduce the cost by 3% of all of these fields, including the breakthroughs. Ooh. Um, I ain't gonna lie. That's a tough one. Um, I'm actually gonna put alien imprints at the top, by the way. Um, that, that, I mean, that, that, that's a, it's hard to beat. That is really, really hard to beat as a breakthrough. Um, they can go ahead and scan that anomaly all they want. I'm not worried about them. That's really good. Um, Sector scan. I'm actually happy with that. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm not really super happy with how the colony's doing right now, just because I've had to have so much maintenance, so much, um, crap being done on that. Um, but next video, my plan is I'm going to build a ramp up to this high ground. In fact, I'm going to queue it up right now. Um, just, I'm going to make, like, the smallest ramp possible. So we're going to start, like, there. We're going to come up to, like, here. There we go. It's going to create 600 waste rock. That's a problem for me. Put that there. There. Perfect. That'll take care of most of the waste rock. Um, we could a ramp up here. That's going to get us to these sites. Then I'm going to bring my RC commander up from the underground. Bring him down here and get us up to this site. When I start doing the trains, my plan is to actually... I wish I could do this without showing the, the big sectors. I'm going to flatten out area along this ridge pretty much just right along this spot and be able to run the trains along a flat surface on the uh, high ground you're waiting for metals really there's metals all over the place i have 300 metals here all right um oh and it's just outside the range of the drone hub so you know what i may need to bring a dozer down do i even have dozers te uh, tech research no i don't okay um, that may not happen in the next video. We've got a lot of things that need to be researched still. Um, let's go ahead and re-queue. Let's go ahead and queue some stuff up that's going to be really beneficial to us later on this week. Alien imprints, dozer rover, atomic accumulator, extractor AI. That's actually going to get us very quickly uh, to the places we need to go to be to get this colony going. My hope by the end of this week is to have a dome, big old medium dome, it's going to be a happy dome, probably right here or. Get it set up where I've got like a vista, put a dome right here, and have all my uh, infrastructure uh, coming down from up here. Or just put a nice happy dome here and just hope that the colonists multiply. That's going to wrap it up for this video, though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'm disappointed that Paradox has patched out my exploit so quickly because, dang it, I liked it. I'll see you all in the next video, though.